Welcome to the Matt and Colin Show, the best place for refreshing craft beer news with an extra shot of what the f news stories. I also really appreciate you having a shirt on right now. <laughs> Dude, just, literally, like, it's just like it one so piece much, of cloth. It looks so much better. <laughs> it looks so much better and less one weird. One piece of cloth. And, and, hey man, that's thing. how the cavemans were like this. This one little flop, dude. It, it will change your life. It'll it'll make you look fucking gross to make you look fucking Ain't good. No more. Uh, let's get this started. Welcome to the Matt and Colin Show. Uh, my name is Matt. <laughs> <laughs> that would make me Colin. Yeah. Sorry. It is so flipping hot right now. Like. I will take it right now. Here's a picture right here is a picture of how fucking hot it is in my my house Where I live and I'm shooting this You're lucky. I'm wearing a shirt So I literally had to make him put a shirt on he did he literally did I, I, <laughs> It wasn't happening until he convinced me to do it. So anyway <laughs> We're just gonna get into it because it's so fucking hot. I don't want to do this. I'm not kidding. It's so hot <laughs> Let's get this shit done. All right like the video Thank it's you. currently 11 o'clock at night here, so I'm. It's it's getting late. Colin's a little bitch, yep. Um, yeah, I mean. So, like the video, uh, follow the podcast on Spotify, Apple Music, or whatever the hell. Apple Podcasts? I don't know what it's called. Um, iHeartRadio, and podcast.com, and many, many others. You listen to a podcast, it's there. Except. Never mind. We're getting into it. Also, subscribe, share, tell all your friends. Guess what I'm drinking, Colin? Uh, beer. Okay, good answer. This one, this is my sixth one. Yes, six. <laughs> I've already drank. Beers, I've Who's already drank beers? the entire six pack because it's so hot. There you go. And this is our third time doing this fucker. Three. This is third Three. time. Third take. We're doing it's good. The magic number. Exactly, that's why it's going to be beautiful. I'm casually just looking over at this like Phoenix and Clippers game because I have it on my second monitor, which I set up, and it's a beautiful. Phoenix is losing, pissed off. But, but that yeah, looks we got like a good beer. Lagunitas, daytime. Very nice condensation on the can. Oh, it's not condensation. It's fucking sweat. That the poor is guy literally is sweat. pure sweat. He's sweating. We got 98 you know calories, what, that, three carbs. That could be a shitty name for a beer. Is some Yo, what are you 4%. drinking? Um, I'm drinking beer sweat. That's what we're drinking tonight. Bro, we're drinking probably... a low calorie, light Pilsner beer sweat. Yeah, it probably is a thing. There's a lot of beers out there. Um, but yeah, I picked a lot up of bad the names. coolest possible refreshing beer I could think of that wasn't Michelob Ultra because if you see like right here, I already killed off that one because I was thirsty. It, if you haven't heard, it's been fucking hot for the last three days here in the PNW, and we don't have AC, and literally for the last two days, I have drove around in my vehicle to cool off. So, think twice before you're like, oh fuck, it's hot. AC, you little bastards over in the Midwest, I'm jealous. Oh. You're throwing the B word around. I, I mean, I'm. It's still hot over here. It's like 90 degrees and like humidity sucks. I just but like have to see. What is your temperature in your house? Um, it's like 70, I think. Oh, 70, let me 71. check. Oh, oh, quick check. Yeah, we're still at 91 degrees in the house. So call me when you're at 91. Voluntarily. Well, I'm not going to. So okay, I'm exactly. Turn my it's heat hot. On so expecting on luxury. what it's hot, okay, and then uh, like it's hot. I don't know what to talk about. I can't even fucking think. Colin, talk. Oh, my beer. Um, I am a. Uh, well, before I crack this beer, I'm drinking open, which I'll get to. The first thing I had before the we start recording, and I finished it before that we even started, was uh, I took one of those uh, cold brew Jamesons I had left over from the other week. Um, Wait, I, so I thought I it was that. a. Guinness. No, Jameson. Guinness. Sorry. Okay, Wrong okay. Irish thing. It's whatever. You're good. I just, yeah, I was confused. Yeah. Cool. 
I mean, I think Jameson makes a cold brew version. They, I think they make a coffee Jameson. I think they do. But, but regardless, this is Guinness, cold brew Guinness. With, um, and I poured it into a glass and then I added um, ice cream. I added, a, what kind of ice cream was it? It was like a coffee spirit brownie bit Hagen dazs bullshit. I put it in the glass with the Guinness and made a beer float out of it. And like after the ice cream melted and like mixed in with everything, it was really fucking good. I'm not gonna lie, I was skeptical, but it was pretty fucking good. So nice. I finished that and I get out. I don't, I mean, here's the glass. Where's the camera? There's the glass I had it in. But I finished that. Um, the beer I'm drinking currently is uh, Hop Yard 29. It's an Ohio IPA from Muller Brew Barn. There's that can. Burr, burr, burr. Wait, like actually Hop? Oh, like Ohio? Wait, what, what? Ohio IPA? Like. That's what it says Ohio IPA right on it, on the can from Muller Brew Barn. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like, pretty good. Six and a half percent. I wonder if it's like uh, the hops are grown in Ohio to get that does it say i mean it has it? the it has the hops like what kind they are on the can and it says it says the hops are chinook comet and galena i don't know what that means yeah i have no idea i am not a hop master well, I've i never I, claimed to be i think chinook but it hops good. are from your area i don't know if they're from ohio but like i think they're from the midwest I'm going to believe you, because I have no reason not to. Hey, I'm just, I'm oh. just some dude on the internet, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty good beer. Um, not really much sales besides pretty good IPA. That's good. I, uh, I'm almost done with this one. It's a very good contrast to, like, the super malty sweetness I just had from the other one to have this kind of, like, hoppier. Not super hop, not super bitter, but pretty hot like a little at least a little bit hoppier ipa to contrast and it's pretty not bad pretty not bad that's the words we love to hear yes sir so colin remember in like eighth grade your math teacher was like oh you're gonna use math for the rest of your life and like bitch no but okay. I mean, I, I'm gonna use it. I'm just gonna use a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ain't. I, mean, I, I you're use not, math. You're not gonna like I mean, actually like write out the long bit. Anyway, so this, anyway. this guy, they call him a physicist, and because uh, he studies he studies fizziness and beer, right? Bingo. Right? I think that's right. I think that's where they got the name that's from. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. It yeah. sounds right. <laughs> But, so this physicist, he uh, did the math on um, how far you could throw a beer coaster before it would flip. And, okay. and uh, this was like a really big project. I mean, it took him like... So was the, was the coaster square or circular? Circular. Ooh. Words, words. You got this. Circular. There we go. There we go. Um, be, just because uh, that's the most general one, and he was just trying to be general with this uh, research. So how far did it go? Point four five seconds. Oh, I was expecting like a meters or foot. Oh no, yeah. Distance. No, it's uh it's per in air. Like if you throw it in the air, it will flip. I guess he was testing average. the. He was testing when it was gonna flip, not yeah. how far he could throw it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will flip yeah. on average every half second, essentially. Well, this is not not every half for. second. It would just flip when you throw it. It would flip within the half first half second of throwing it. So Matt, what are we gonna do with this data to further humans and further you know beer science in general what are we gonna do with this data we have the data what are we gonna use it for in common applications it could be used in some sort of like a knocking the mic over here uh in some sort of a like throw the coast at your buddy you're like okay he's about five seconds a half second away from me it probably won't make it to him. It'll probably hit the... Some... But that, it doesn't want to matter because we're just testing would it flip or not, not of how far it would go. But in sense, it would kind of test how 
far it would go because like I mean unless you throw it straight up I guess you're right I guess there's some variables here but 0.45 seconds anyway yeah there you go yeah it will take that long for you with uh, that data flip. what you will and apply it in, to any of your um, um, normal everyday activities yes comment down below tell me tell us what you do with that data I would love to hear it so dumb <laughs> so dumb anyway so Colin what's your favorite beverage water okay second favorite uh iced tea damn okay third uh are you gonna make me say beer because i'll just say beer no no it, it's it's not beer. okay you, you, you i don't know what you're trying to get out of me three, i could listen a lot of things three strikes you out coffee okay you heard of it oh shit yeah i love yeah, coffee yeah see that's what i thought i, I was beer. like i expected you to say that number there's one. a lot of drinks i ingest lots of liquids i can just choose one well hell you had a cold brew earlier that was beer though it wasn't coffee well it's got the co coffee flavoring. Beer flavored or coffee flavored beer. Yeah, yeah. There. There wasn't any coffee actually in it. No, we know this because we don't mix alcohol with caffeine. We know that. See, but, example of other podcasts. We talked about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that was like last week, maybe two weeks ago. Check the last 22 episodes. You'll find it. <laughs> just listen to them all and just try to find it. <laughs> yep. Comment down below which episode it is. Help everybody out. <laughs> I'll pin it For at the top. listeners. Yeah, I'll pin it at the top. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so coffee. Coffee. Study shows it will help your liver out. Okay. Guess how much coffee it probably you have to drink, also though. raise your blood pressure and give you heart disease. But you know whatever. Well, Ellen, Okay, if you drink four cups of coffee a day. That's a lot. It does seem to be a lot, but you could drink decaf because it's just coffee. It's not True. caffeine. True. True. Um, caffeine is the bad stuff. Yeah. But it's also the good stuff. It. Coffee drinkers were less likely to have chronic liver and less likely to have heart disease. So comparable to what you just said. So what I just said, yeah. that was literally wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I did pull that kind of out of my ass, but I just kind of assumed, but honestly. I mean, like, like, it raised in, your heart rate. Exactly. Caffeine raises right. your heart rate, so I just kind of assumed like, that would be a... That's what I'm saying. Like, if you go decaf, you, you get the same benefits of coffee. You get the fucking weird-ass taste without any of the I, caffeine. I, I don't mind decaf coffee. I can drink decaf coffee. I actually yeah yeah but it doesn't like, actually taste any different. I'm just saying yeah, that it doesn't do I, what I, I want it to do though. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. It's like non-alcoholic beer. Like you're getting all the good like the the, it, the flavor, it, it but you're not getting good, the good. But you're not it's getting the, not really the, what you want. You're not getting the good stuff underneath. Yeah. You're not getting the the stuff that's bad for you. Exactly. <laughs> but this drinking four cups of coffee is good for you a day. Apparently, I need to step my game up. That's all I need to hear. That's all I need to hear. You're 21% less likely for a chronic liver, and you're 49% less likely to die from liver disease. Like chronic so liver disease. Your liver out. And then you're less likely to die from those diseases. Because you're just less likely to get them. So, Interesting. Yeah. And like I said, caffeinated or decaffeinated works, but you probably shouldn't realistically have four cups of coffee caffeine. Because unless you're just some type of, if you're someone, yeah, keep it PG. If you're someone that can drink four cups of coffee, oh what? Mm -hmm. Coffee? That's what? That's where you be in a coffin. Yeah. Okay. Fuck all that shit. If you're someone, I don't know. I really don't even know what you said the last thirty seconds. I have. Dude, was there a it's sentence? So made? hot. It's so hot. I'm it's brain like, fried. Uh, yeah, for real. I feel like my brain is melting right now. God, it's so fucking hot. Anyway, okay. Hey. So you can have the either the caffeinated or the decaffeinated, but too much caffeine is still bad. Don't do that. Unless Obviously. you're like a crazy man that's just like 
He's crazy! Yeah, you're just like throwing him back like, yeah man, caffeine! Be careful with that. So, at the end of the day, like, coffee, drinking coffee, where it all ties into the podcast here. Drink coffee helps you drink beer. I think that, yeah, we, we, we came full, full circle. Yep, full circle there, bub. Right. I don't trust the science, but oh, you don't trust the <laughs> I'm gonna science. Keep, I'm gonna keep drinking both of them and see what happens. Uh, I, I honestly we'll just do a like long term study on me. I I don't. This study was done over 500,000 UK coffee drinkers. That's quite a bit. Yeah, like this was a 10 year study. This wasn't just some random poll you see on Twitter. Like this was actual science shit. Hell this, yeah. This science podcast is brought to you by 30rack.com. 30rackinc.com. Good plug. Buy Good our plug. merch. It's so fucking hot. Colin, you know where up? your boy wants to be right now? Um, in an ice bath. You're pretty fucking close to this next topic, <laughs> buddy. All right. I want to be in the Great Lakes of Michigan. Because Great that Lakes Brewery nice. Company, mm-hmm. I, yeah, yeah, Great Lakes Brewing Company, uh-huh. out of uh, our friends up just a smidgen north of you, right, Cleveland? Uh, smidge, yes. There's a, smidge, a smidge, in the grand scheme of the United States, yes. Yeah. <laughs> like if you look at the whole picture, it's just like you're here, you just right there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty just a close. smidge, yeah. But anyway. Besides the smidges, Great Lakes Brewery Company, named number four world's best beloved brand. Okay. Weird, but okay. Hey, I mean, that would. I they, got, they got. They got. For them, though. Yeah, they got hella support, bro. Yeah, good, they got some good beers. Yeah. Well, uh, the the goodest beer of them all. Don't say say best. Just say best. Okay, I that that was like even a worse pun than this next one. Get ready for this one. All right. Subject me to this shit every week, and I'm just like <laughs> cringing every time. Go ahead. All right. Besides all their great beers, uh, yeah. The Christmas ale was one of the the one that stood out the most because that's probably like the worst beer. Oof. There is like a bunch of people would say you're an I am not a fan. I'm not a fan of the Christmas beer. Uh, I I can't say I've had it. It's drinkable, but it's not like one I'll be like, oh, it's Christmas time. Better fucking grab the fucking. Oh, man. This article is just fucking you up right here, bud. Okay. Get ready for this one. I'm 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 here for it. Yep. Yep. Here we go. Yep. So the Great Lakes Brewing first poor party event is something that people. Yeah, it's it's something that people will literally wait at the door hours before the first opening when they're the first day of the release. And in Cleveland, it uh, is the unofficial holiday season marking. So when they start selling the Christmas beer, basically. Yeah, yeah, that's when like. Obviously, unofficial because like whatever. Is that it like? Means. Is it like in August or September or something? I doubt that, but like, no, I, it's probably in December, or maybe in November or something. I, I'd say probably like mid-November, because I would can I would throw Thanksgiving into the holiday season. True, we're still far off from that though. But that's what won them the fourth place award at. The the beer festival. Yeah, whatever <laughs> That's this. <a> thing. <laughs> whatever. All of the all of the beer I, people I, got no, together I, well, and conversated, okay. and actually, they were like, "Listen, we gotta rank things and just do things in ranking style." So guess what? We're gonna fucking put Great Lakes number four in beer general topic in the world. In the world. In the world. Great Lakes. Fuck that. I don't believe that's some All bullshit. Right, hold on. I have had hold so on, many better hold, breweries. Hold your horses. This is a legit They're thing. Mid. Legit thing. 
this I'm just is, a hater. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is. You are just a hater. This is just a, uh, this brand or this like list comes out every single year. They had to pay to get on the list. Nope. And this it's list like comes that out. Michelin star rating. You just pay for your ratings. <laughs> no, this list comes yes. out every year and it is <laughs> not is. just beer brands. It is worldwide. Brand. Like literally, I think number one was like, I'm not, I don't remember what number one was, but it, it was like some yeah. beauty <laughs> brand, I think, or something, but they're all, it's all types of uh, brands across the entire Wait, world. So you're saying even though we're not even just talking about beer brands, we're talking about brands in the fucking world yeah, and Gritlers came in at number four. Yeah. Because of their first poor party event, like in how war like, because it says this is this list is brands that can be comp uh, categorized as comforting or welcoming like like it just you feel good when you hear that brand name you're like that's a good yeah. brand yeah like like apple or google yeah yeah exactly <laughs> Grand Lake. just really really solid like niche like really small companies that really care about you yeah like or Grand amazon I, no. all those were jokes obviously i know but <laughs> I, I mean who knows about Google and Apple, but like Amazon, I know. Yeah, they're, I could say that they're probably, you're, probably, I mean, you're, yeah. you are one analytic from the, for their <laughs> ad yeah. revenue Fucking algorithm. One fuck up on that code to just being like, get the hell out of here, guy. So I see you disabled cookies. Are you sure you wanted to do that? Cause we want to follow you everywhere in what you do. Except all cookies all the time. Dude, but I love cookies though. Cookies are good. Just like Great Lakes Brewing Company. What was the best cookie you've had recently? Better than any cookie you've had, probably. <laughs> There's this mar- Okay, down in the market. Ex my mom makes pretty damn- My mom- <laughs> Your mom's cookies? I've had- good, yeah. They're pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My stepmom's cookies are good. I've had good cookies. Hey, man. Even, let's be real. Cookies, awesome. like, you, you can make a- dope ass cookie if you just hit the right recipe you know but anyway these cookies down yeah. at the market the they're, the they're seriously like this big like i'm not kidding they're like six bucks a pop but like matt is currently holding his hands up to the circumference of around his face yeah like just imagine your face, the face like, that's like a cookie it's it, like absolutely absurdly big it's it's probably like 600 calories like imagine a I mean, cookie. The idea is calories. not to eat the whole thing at once, Matt. No, the idea is to split it between two people. It literally says like, yeah, I've had like cookie pizzas two. before where you like cut it in like a pizza shape or Well, yeah, like you can get that shit or like, Domino's you know, or, or something. Pizza or yeah. yeah but like they, like other places. But this do one it, is like is good. I mean, if you're they put if ice you're on really, top of it. If you're really getting at it, like maybe you had a crazy day, you're smacking all them fucking daytime beers, you're just like, Oh, I need this giant ass cookie. Boom, the last thing I would want is sweets. That is the last thing I'd yeah, want. Yeah, dude, that's the last thing I ever want to. Say, I'm not a sweets guy. But with that being said, we have got to get some to like this. cheesy fries or something, or some like chili cheese dogs or. I would like something a nice completely salad. terrible. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm staring you hard into my soul. Yeah, you're doing the sunglasses thing where I can't see it. You're exactly. Like, mm -hmm. You never know. I could be looking so far over that way. You like that way. You don't even know it's off camera. So, with all that being said, we're just gonna stop there because my brain is officially melted, and my beers have officially run dry. I have enough for a drink. Colin, let's finish her off. As Drinking. every weekend, or fucking guys, I'm sorry. As every week, we'll see you next week. Happy Sunday. Cheers. Beer. Oh, fucking. Cheer hey, beer. Fucking, uh, fucking a buddy. Finished. Done. Oh, fuck yeah. Did you finish yours? Bruh. We gotta Not finish on the cheers. How you gonna yeah, happen? Yeah.